Hello everyone, my name is Aaron from the BNX True Filter team. And in today's video, we're gonna be demonstrating how to build a Corsi Rosenthal box, its benefits, and if they actually work. So you may be asking yourself, what in the world is a Corsi Rosenthal box? Well, in a nutshell, it's essentially a DIY air purifier that you can make with stuff that's probably already laying around in your home. And today we're gonna to be showing you how to build one. The Corsi Rosenthal box was first introduced in 2020 during the peak of the pandemic when engineer Richard Corsi discussed the idea of building an at-home air purifier with a box fan using MERV 13 air filters. The idea was soon come to life with the help of Jim Rosenthal, the CEO of filter manufacturer Tex Air Filters. A Corsi Rosenthal box is a cheaper yet effective alternative to a traditional HEPA air purifier, which can cost up to two to $300 or more. In contrast, the Corsi Rosenthal box is built with four high quality MERV 13 air filters, tape, a box fan, and cardboard for the base. The most common question is, does it work? Well, actually, according to multiple research studies, it does, and it also makes for a great DIY project at home or in the classroom. It also helps to know that the Corsi Rosenthal box is backed by the leading names in the HVAC and filtration industry. And today we're going to showcase it in real time. So how does it work? When building the box, the filters are to be placed with the arrow facing in and the box fan on top blowing the air out. This allows the fan to pull the air through the filters and blow the purified air out. When building your box, ensure they're using a MERV 13 air filter or higher to help filter out the fine particulate matter. And in today's video, we're gonna be using BNX's MERV 13 True Filters. This is a four pack that can be purchased on Amazon. MERV 13 air filters are designed to capture microscopic balloons in the air, such as smoke, smog, bacteria, virus carriers, pet dander, and pollen. Many of these pollutants are invisible to the naked eye, so while you can't see them, they're still entering into your respiratory system and in fact can cause both minor and major health issues. EPA studies of human exposure of air pollutants indicate that indoor levels of pollutants may be two to five times more and occasionally more than 100 times higher than outdoor levels. These levels of indoor air pollutants are a particular concern because most people spend about 90% of their time indoors. So. MERV 13 air filters are the answer. They're effective at filtering tiny particulate matter as small as 0.3 microns. So to give you an idea of how tiny this is, the human eye can see an object as small as 60 to 70 microns, which is about the diameter of a human hair. So let's get started with building this box. All right, now to move into the steps to build your Corsi Rosenthal box. You need a pair of scissors and tape, preferably duct tape. Your next step will be making your base. You can cut out a square from the box your fan came in. You can measure the fit will fit by using a filter and cutting the excess cardboard. Most important part of this is to ensure the arrows on your filters are facing in with building your box. That is crucial to making the Corsi Rosenthal box work. Now you'll grab two filters and tape two of them together at the gap where they meet. You can use two small pieces like we did or one big piece down the middle. Now that you've taped the filters, you're gonna to wanna to ensure that you tape all four together and make your square. Now that we made the square, you're going to take the base that we cut out earlier and place it on top of the filters. Next, you'll grab your tape and tape all four sides down. Make sure there's no openings or leakage. And you're going to want to make sure that any sides that could potentially have an opening or leakage are completely sealed. Once you've added your base, you can flip your box over and grab your box fan. Ensure the box fan is facing up so it blows the air out. Now you'll tape the edges of the box fan. Ensure that there's no openings for potential leakages. Once you tape the box fan down, you can do a quick check around to make sure that all sides have been taped. Once you've done so, you can plug it in and enjoy clean air. These are four simple steps that can be turned into a fun DIY project for yourself or your little ones. We've seen others decorated, so feel free to have fun with it. So keep in mind, just like your air filters in your home, these will also have to be replaced every three to six months, depending on the usage. And we would recommend cleaning the fan as well. This is an easy DIY project that will not only save you money, but keep the air quality in your home, office, or classroom clean. These are picking up popularity in schools, universities, workplaces, and of course, homes all across the country. Again, thank you so much for joining our True Filter segment. Please be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.